Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today, um, it's first video on my Mac, it's not mine, so I'll try to be doing some videos on the Mac. That's not the important part. Actually, it is pretty important because now I can help you guys out with Mac stuff, but I'll be jailbreaking iOS 4.1 um, using Pwnage Tool 4.1 for supported devices in the description, and I'm going to go ahead and pull up the uh, iPhone Dev Team blog right here. So here again are the supported devices. As you can see, iPod Touch 2G is not on here. Um, so if you need to do that, go ahead and use Green Poison. I have a video for that right there somewhere in the video. I'll put an annotation. But go ahead and check out that video if you have an iPod Touch 2G. So as you can see, you can just download it here via Torrent or a mirror. I just used a mirror. It's up to you. It's the same thing. And let's go ahead and start using the program here. Go ahead and open up Pwnage Tool. So here it is. I'm running iOS 4.1. As you can see, I have the game center right there. And um, we're going to be jailbreaking the iPhone 4. So we're going to go ahead and do expert mode. We're going to hit continue. And it looks like we need to browse for IPSW. So we're going to hit desktop. And there's the 4.1 firmware. It's going to go ahead and process the bundle. And we're gonna, we can go ahead and customize some of the settings. So if we go into general, you can do activate the phone. Do not do this if you're on AT&T. Um, this will cause problems with your phone. It won't connect. Only do this if you rely on an unlock. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that, but check it if you are using an unlock. Um, you can enable baseband update and all this other stuff, I guess, that doesn't look like you can do. And then all this stuff's mainly for the iPhone 3G because it doesn't have it, and you can also change the root partition size. So I usually do about a gig or a thousand megabytes. So let's just go ahead and do that. We're gonna hit the arrow. Um, I don't have any packages. I guess Cydia. And that's really it. That's, uh, that's pretty much it for it right now. I mean, you can go ahead and play around the settings if you have a uh, unlock. Let's go ahead and build the firmware here. So we're just gonna name it. Uh, whatever it names it and save it to our desktop. Um, if this build, do if it does take a while to build, I'll cut the video. So yeah, well, I'll be right back once it's done building the IPSW. All right, guys. Hey, um, Tapos X, and I'm back here. So we're gonna go ahead and enter DFU mode. Um, right after it builds the firmware, it kind of quickly jumps into entering DFU mode, but um, I wasn't ready for that. So we're gonna go ahead and try again. So let's go ahead and start right here. So we're gonna hit try again. So it says prepare to press the power and home in five seconds. Okay, we're gonna press it. We're gonna hold for 10 seconds. Prepare to release the power button. Now we're gonna hold on to the home button for 10 seconds. And it looks like it uh, looks like it recognized it here. Okay, successfully enter DFU mode. Close the Pwnage Tool application. Start iTunes and restore with your custom firmware bundle. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And let's go ahead and open up iTunes here. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit Shift Restore. Um, or oops, I did. Not shift restore, guys. My bad. We're going to hit control restore. I mean, uh, option restore. There we go. And we're going to go to our desktop and we're going to select, make sure you select the custom restore IPSW. We're going to double click that. We're going to restore. And we uh, will go ahead and do the restore process. I'll show you the, I guess, the beginning part of this video to show you what goes on with the phone. But then I will go ahead and cut the video so you don't have to watch the entire restore. So here we go. All right here. So looks like it has the Apple logo going here. And uh, yeah, so here we are. We have this bar and it's gonna go ahead and start. I will be back once this is done restoring. So uh, yeah. All right guys, what's up? I'm back and um, it looks like the iPhone just finished. Um, as you can see, the iPhone has been restored to factory settings. And as you can see, it is now booting up here. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, I'll come back when it's booted up. 
All right, guys, I'm back, and the iPhone has is just finished restoring and booting up. I mean, booting up, so I already showed you that it finished restoring. And if we go ahead and slide to the left, you can see that Cydia is on our device, or my device. So I'm just going to hit Developers, No Filters. And as you can see, Cydia is up and running, the phone is activated, and everything like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. For um, Other than that, it's pretty much the same steps for other phones. Now, if your phone is unlocked, you need to be careful with, with, with what you do. Be sure to preserve your baseband. So there's no unlock for 4.1, the baseband running 4.1 right now. So be very careful with that. And uh, make sure to save your SHSH blobs as usual. Do all that stuff. And uh, yeah, that's it. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at Aposex. And thanks for watching.